Hey everyone, welcome back to Comic Frontline. Jay here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Wonder Woman number 38. The title of this issue is War Torn Part 3. It's written by Meredith Finch. Pencils are by David Finch. Inks are by Bat, Danny Mickey, and Sonia Obeck. Colors are by Sonia Obeck. This issue starts off with the Amazons fighting another creature. This time, I'm not sure who it is because it has two heads. I think it would either be the Dragon of Ares, Orthus, or perhaps the Hydra itself. And I'm questioning the Hydra because normally in art, the Hydra has, you know, at least three or four heads when it is first presented. The battle, though, tears through the island, maiming and killing the Amazons, including Diana's one real close friend on the Council of Amazons, Dessa, who's been, you know, her champion to the um, Amazons. Wonder Woman is then face to face with the God of War persona, who is about to kill her when we find out that it was all just a dream, or was it a vision, or something else, because Eris is also watching Diana having this dream. Then Diana talks to Hesha about the Amazons, and Hesha asks her if she is feeling the effects of being the God of War yet, and that she has to be more proactive in shaping it, or it will shape her, like it did Ares. Before another village um, is swallowed, and she goes off to, you know, find out more about that with the Justice League. And while she's finding that out, Batman asks her about being the god of war, and what does that mean? Meanwhile, as the Amazonian Council, um, Deranoi, presents their new queen, a true Amazon, not born from man, Donna Troy. I have to say, I am loving being a Wonder Woman fan right now. This book just rocks. I love it. Meredith Finch had, um, has rerouted Wonder Woman in Greek mythology in a very traditional way. We are also seeing the effects of what being the God of War are. It isn't just, you know, a title that is passed down or anything like that. It is something that physically manifests itself all around Diana, and it could reshape her as a result. I love Diana's strength here as she um, takes on that and all her other roles. I love the action, great use of it, especially trying, um, tying it to being the god of war and the mystery of why these villages are being swallowed, which I still think is going to have somehow be connected to Diana herself. The story, once again for me, gets five stars. David Finch really draws a beautiful Diana slash Wonder Woman, as are really all of his Amazons. They're all really beautiful. I love the, pre the presentation of the Greek mytholo mythological monsters in the series, but this one did have me a little bit puzzled, like I mentioned before, about um, the drag, the two-headed dragon creature. And I'm a, mytholo um, a mythology buff myself. The art, though, is very well done. But I think the multiple inkers did weaken it just a little bit. So the art gets four and a half stars. Overall, I am loving me some Wonder Woman right now. The Finches are killing it on this book, and I have been reading Wonder Woman forever. I can tell you that Meredith actually respects her and her history, since if you go back to the legendary George Perez run, issue number 38, the cover has Wonder Woman fighting a Hydra, and who is in the book? Ares and Harmonia. Now, Harmonia was Ares' daughter, who was married to Cadmus, who killed the dragon of Ares, and in some myths, Ares actually turned her and him into a two-headed dragon, which that could be the dragon in this book. Even Diranoi herself has a really connection to Greek mythology, um, and having her be the one that created Donna Troy and named her makes perfect sense since in mythology, she was one of the Amazons that fought in the Trojan War 
in the city of Troy, you know? It's just those little connections that I'm loving about this run. So Meredith not only respects her Wonder Woman mythology, but also her Greek mythology. With five stars for the story and four and a half stars for the art, I'm giving Wonder Woman number 38 four and three quarter stars and highly recommend picking up Wonder Woman number 38 and the Fitch's run so far. I cannot praise this enough. Please go out and buy Wonder Woman number 38. Awesome book. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to know what yours are in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater, check out Comic Frontline, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews. For even more news on all things related to comics, comicrelated.com is your source for all your comic book needs with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.